All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back. And most importantly, welcome back to a game that most of you probably don't even remember. For those of you that do, in August of 2021, we played a game here on the channel, a very short demo of a game, and dare I say, perhaps the greatest alien abduction horror game that we've ever played. They finally just released a prologue after almost two years, and me thinking that this project got canceled, we finally have a prologue, and I am super excited. So, a big thank you to the team for giving me access to this prologue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to They Are Here. The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years before the events shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near Grayswood Farm. By chance, he becomes a witness of terrible, inexplicable events. So freaking pumped. No answer. Switching to heat control. Pushing down. Delta, I have strong interference. Say again. Communication lost. I try radio on different frequency. Alpha calls data. Unidentified object begins pushing. Ten seconds to land. Saying again. us <laughs> if, if this prologue is anything even remotely close to what the demo was it's gonna be awesome and, and trust me just give it a shot if you haven't seen that i'll link the uh demo as well the demo gameplay we did as well in the description but you gotta watch this first because it takes place before the demo version oh my we have different equipment Oh God! Oh shit! Wait, there's two. This is base. The object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Yeah. Omega team will arrive in one minute. We'll conduct surveillance from the yard. Drive with care. Report when you arrive. What is that back there? I read you five by five, sir. Out. Five by five. Okay. Got it. I think it's this way. Oh my gosh, this is so fucking awesome. Dude, I, I fantasize with these things. You have no idea. Like, it's. They fascinate me so much. Whoa, there they are. This game looks so good. This is Omega. We see you. We are monitoring. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> A message to the dev team. Don't stop. Don't quit on this game. Just keep going. Make it as best as you can possibly make it because there's so much potential here. So much potential. Even graphically, look how nice it looks. So fucking fascinating. I love this. This guy's getting tired. You're supposed to be part of the military, man. You're supposed to be in tip top shape. Even the camera zooms, it's just. Yo, Mager, this is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. Counter indicator is average. Hello? Roger that. We're all quiet here. Oh, boy. I'm 
Interesting. Damn, I thought it was much closer based on the radar, but it just feels like we're running on here forever. Radiation is extremely high here. Omega, what the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels are rising. Over. Did it now. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Something strange is happening. Devices break down. Indicators are constantly changing. It can't be that everything breaks down at the same time. Seems that there is some kind of an anomaly here. That's crazy as shit, dude. Alright, so we've got like a fork on the road here. This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Observe the object from a distance. <laughs> dude, this... This is so dope. Where is the object? If you don't mind me asking. This old major. Who's alive? The radiation is getting stronger. Wait. What? We need to stop the object. Oh, that helicopter's going down. What the hell's going on there? Where is it? What's going on, dude? Whoa. I'm trying to get there. I want to see something. Oh. Omega, fly away. Michael Anderson, follow protocol. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Sorry, boys. I guess it's just up to us now. Can anyone hear me? Over. Bro, tell me there's no potential in this game right now. You can't. I'm sorry. Can anyone answer? Damn it. Bro, there is so much potential in this game. Night vision, you say? <laughs> All right, this is uh getting a bit intense. I was kind of excited at first, but now I'm just creeped the fuck out. Hold on, where's the bleep? Oh, no. Uh, what is that? going what way am I going this way no not this way okay down I'm I'm pretty fucking lost Let's see if something turns up here eventually. Oh! I think that was just my breathing. I think both uh, roads would have led us to the same place, actually. Oh! Oh, 
shit. They're closing in on us. Oh, what the fuck? That was, that was very short. That was very short. In the full game, you will learn how the events of the prologue are related to Gray's Wood Farm and the story of Taylor Fox. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna play the demo again. We're gonna play the demo so we kind of have both in one video. So unexplained phenomena occurred at Gray's Wood Farm. This is 30 years later. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at a breakneck speed over the cornfield. The light moved in a random direction at a different speed. Okay, after a while, they vanished. Uh, this strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all of the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, uh, tried to attack him and bit him. The children com uh, complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to a Grayswood farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. So in this demo, we play as the reporter. We'll be able to get uh, a better a better connection of, 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 of these two stories. And then in the full game, we'll be able to see how they both connect clearly. So this is the... Um, talk to the farmer, Peter Sherman. Okay, that's our channel 7 News reporting live. And those are the uh, discs. Oh, we took a photo. This is a great material for news report. So it's kind of cool because... This was actually way different. Like, you have, you know, a camera, which you could take pictures. And when the Greyhill Incident Alien Horror Game came out, I thought that was the full game for this demo. I completely ignored the fact that it was a completely different game. And um, once I saw the prologue for this came out, I was like, dude, it was a different game. And this game, to me, was much creepier. The Grey Hill Incident was a phenomenal game, by the way, but I feel like this was a bit creepier. So, farmers know, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you uh, and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. You see, the atmosphere is very creepy. Inspect the house. Not working. Old newspaper. This old newspaper has inform information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been uh, seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this, uh, the world may never know. Alright, so this is the family and the photo members of the Sherman family. And the photo members of the Sherman family. Locked. We're going upstairs. Hit the kitchen first. Any food? I'm kind of hungry. I love the way the house looks. Like the atmosphere in this game is really, really nice. Okay, here we go. Megan has gone missing. A 
apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. I know there's a jump scare coming here soon. But you see how creepy it is, dude? Like, it just this. There's so much potential here, man. Farmer's note. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came home, or when I came in, rather, yes, she wasn't in her bed. And the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. It looks like uh, this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the, of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Killed the dog. The dog was barking. She was saying, hey, doggy, or hey, alien. And then the alien killed the dog. So they are, in fact, a threat to our human population. I'm going to go in here. That's right. So, farmer's note. I've learned uh, a lot about these things. They are called the greys. And that's what people actually call them in real life. There are no little green. There are no. They're not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way: a large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless, uh, black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. Um, it all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed. Have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears and animals start raging next people start to have memory lapses when they come to normal they find themselves in unexpected places uh, for example in the middle of a field or on the road a few kilometers away from home some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories people remembering terrifying experiences the aliens establish control over their minds and this has affected their psyche their psyche also they found the marks of the body incisions to be exact during uh, pal uh, palpitation felt like uh, something thick like a foreign object moving under the skin that's what they are the greys could, there could be different species or different types of species of greys uh, this is what they look like photo from the internet perhaps peter sherman saw something similar it looks creepy it's crazy how almost everyone um that has had encounters with these things portrays them to look identical which is kind of crazy photo from the internet perhaps peter uh, sherman saw something similar it looks creepy that is fucking wild <laughs> oh god that is even worse all right Oh boy. Okay, so I found my old diary. How could I forget that? From when I was 15 years old. Wow. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was defended by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if zero gravity. Everything around me became blindly bright and uh, I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up in the pier later in the evening and I uh, barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body, two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Yeah, that sounds fucking creepy. Take a photo of the diary. I think it comes now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. 
Creepy as fuck. <laughs> Shit. Bro, you cannot tell me that's not creepy, dude. Nor does a child headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozen of times, but no one could explain the reason of the recurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the, of the migrants. The answer is a simple abduction. I only remember the alien's abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the uh, migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then, uh, then behind the ears, were a trace of them. I'm sure they've uh, implemented something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. Not crazy. Oh, he took him out. A little jar with a strange device. Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it? Uh, yeah. Creepy as fuck, dude. Yeah, the demo was much longer in a sense, and much scarier than the prologue. I'm kind of glad I replayed it, because I have forgotten a little bit about it. Here we go, let's play the tape. This game that is just creepy, dude. Run to your car. I remember this. Look at that. The clothes of the people. You saw their clothes? <laughs> That's fucking nuts. Oh, yeah. Shit. I remember. So this is where the demo concludes. I, I think the demo's superior to the prologue. 
Um, but the prologue, it was more of a tease. I mean, so is the demo, but I feel like the prologue should have been at least like five minutes longer because it has a lot of potential out in the woods. You're playing with a military individual who ends up finding these things in the woods or they end up finding him and he gets abducted or killed or whatever. But I feel like just five, ten more minutes of that prologue and it would have been like icing on the cake. In the full game, you will find the large territory of Greywood's farm and a full story of the alien abduction. Again, this is all but a tease of what this game is going to bring once it's officially out. You can also send your stories to the email down below. I guess they can go based on stories and kind of do uh, what the, the indie horror game Fears... Uh, what was it? Fears to Fathom or Fears of the Fathom? Something like that. I forget. Uh, you know how they do like real life stories and they make it into like some sort of indie horror game experience. This is probably what they could do as well or what they're trying to do, which would be amazing. The same thing, but with like alien abduction stories, that would be like never ending content for alien UFO fanatics, right? But anyhow, we did the prologue, we did the demo. Both of them are obviously connected and in the full game, they will be even more so as well as you'll be able to explore more. I just hope this game is not like a 30 minute game. I hope it's like a, you know, a good hour and a half, two hours with a decent story and a decent ending. Um, when I compare it to Grey Hill Incident, uh, I feel like Grey Hill Incident was really good. Perhaps the best full horror game as far as UFOs and aliens go that we have right now. At least from what I've played. But I feel like the ending could have been a little bit better. It was kind of like in the air, you know. So maybe they can execute this game and its ending superior to Grey Hill Incident. I don't know. There's, there's a lot to be had here. This game has so much potential. The aliens seem to be a just overall... Not only creepier, bigger, but a lot more menacing, a lot more dangerous. Uh, and, and they certainly do have an agenda. And they're just, they're very, very creepy. And and I, I just feel like overall this game has much more of a horror element than, than Grey Hill Incident, which is a plus. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. They are here, Alien Abduction Horror Game, the prologue. Um, it should be coming out for you guys, like, within the next couple of days after watching this video. So you guys can go on Steam Play for yourselves. Um, the demo is available, but the prologue will be available shortly. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm super excited for this. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later.